Well, guys, Saints get their first win of the season. Drew Brees joins us. Uh, you talked about breaking the seal the first couple of weeks. Well, you guys broke it today. Yeah, we did. It was a great team win um, all the way around. Uh, defense came up with uh, you know a great performance. A lot of big stops kept them out of the end zone, which that's going to win you a lot of games. Uh, offensively, started off really fast. Started fast, finished strong. Everything in between was not real good. <laughs> but uh, first quarter and fourth quarter were great. And um, I mean, if you're going to have some bad quarters, I guess you'd want it to be the middle. And uh, you know, you're starting fast, finishing strong. I think that does a lot for just the momentum and setting the tempo for the game. You talk about the quick start and then what happened after that uh, big turning point in this game was obviously you were hit by the Vikings and you were pretty emotional after that. Just take me through that play and how pivotal that was in this game. Yeah, well, it was third and 14. Um, you know, and we had a couple of drives where penalties, you know, we get set back and you know, those are hard to overcome, especially against a defense like this that you know, can, can bring some pretty exotic pressure packages in, in, the, in the sub where, you know, I mean, it presents challenges. So, um, hey, you know, they, they bring one more that we can block on that play, um, get the sack, but I'm not going down. I mean, I wasn't going to let that guy take me down. But he was going to have to do a lot in order to get me down. Sure enough, he suplexed me. And, I mean, that was a full-blown WrestleMania, mid-'80s Hulk Hogan suplex. Um, but, listen, it gave us a free set of downs. I knew it did, but, listen, you're in the moment. You're, uh, I don't appreciate somebody doing that, you know, because obviously that could hurt somebody. Um, so, um, I let that be known. Um, I don't know. I guess guys got fired up and we went down and scored. We've seen emotion from you pregame. We've seen emotion from you after a big drive. Your teammates, uh, I asked them though, they've never really seen that kind of emotion other than practice from you on a, on a field. I think it fired up them and it fired up the Superdome as well. Yeah, I, th I mean, listen, as a quarterback, um, especially during the game, typically very you know, poised and um, calm. You know, you got to be a great communicator. You've got to be obviously on top of, of what's happening and what you're seeing and you know, you're just responsible for a lot of things. So typically I'm pretty calm, but you know, like I said, something like that could get somebody hurt. So um, it's unnecessary, you know, it got me fired up. You know, maybe it got everybody else fired up on our team. It was a, it was a momentum swing because you know, it gave us a free set of downs. Otherwise we're punting and it's a one possession game. It's 13 to nine. Instead, we get the ball now at midfield, continue the drive, convert some big third downs. Touchdown to Marcus, and um, you know, 20 to nine. Now it's a two-possession game. Defense can pin their ears back. Then we get the ball again. And what I liked is, you know, five and a half minutes left in the game. We get the ball again, marching all the way down the field, convert some big third downs, and end the game on our terms. We had a reporter in the other locker room, and he talked to Captain Munderland. And I know you have a lot of respect in this league. And and he said the captain said he w went up to you and and said he's not a dirty player and wanted to talk to you about that. Do you remember that conversation at all? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I, I, I like Captain. I think he's, I think he's a, a really good football player um, and played against him a long time, you know, when he was in Carolina and then now today. Um, so listen, hey, no, no problem. <laughs> it, at the end of the day, it gave us a free set of downs. So thank you very much. Um, but no, I mean, listen, there, there's times where stuff happens throughout the course of a game. I don't think he was trying to be dirty. I think he was just trying to get me down. Maybe I was just a little bit heavier than he thought. Maybe so. Marcus Colston wasn't targeted last week, but he had a big touchdown catch in this game. Good to get him back in the flow in this offense? No question. Um, listen, he's a big part of what we do. Always, always has been, always will be. Um, you know, and, and he's my guy. I mean, I, we, we have such a rapport. And, uh, you know, so it, is, it upsets me leaving a game feeling like, you know, uh, he didn't get the touches that, uh, you know, he deserved or could have potentially gotten. You know, I said it last week. You know, last week I went back and looked at the film, and there was probably two balls that could have gone his way, you know, that were just kind of like, ah, here, here, just choosing a matchup. One was a 15-yard completion of Meech, and one was a 20-yard completion of Jimmy. So not going to complain for 15 and 20-yard completions. Just happened to be that the ball didn't go his way. But, yeah, he came up with some big ones today. Last question, Drew. It seems like the team isn't really, you know, happy in the locker room. They're more relieved. And, and Zach Streep said he was even frustrated knowing the offense could have done more in this game. As you move forward to Dallas, what do you take from this game? Um, well, start fast, finish strong. That's what we did. Um, more to be desired mid-game. Um, some penalties probably killed two drives. Um, an opportunity for maybe another big play here and there, you know, that might have just gotten things going uh, on some of those drives. But, um, I mean, at the end of the day, I'll tell you what winning football is. Winning football is the ability to run it, um, taking care of the football, which we did today, no turnovers. Third down efficiency, above 60%. Red zone efficiency, I think we we're 100%. So, That'll win you a lot of football games on offense. A little bit of everything in this game, as always. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, Drew Brees here in the Superdome. How about this? He and Sean Payton have put together 18 straight wins here at home the last time they lost, January of 2011, against the Tampa Bay Bucks. To put that in perspective, the Bucks have hired two new head coaches since then. I'm Mike Neighbors here in the Superdome. Back to you guys in the Louisiana Cat Studios.